Greetings everyone. So in this video, I'm going to cover the difference between the HDMI port and the display port. So to start off, these two ports are two video ports. So the HDMI port you will mainly see on your game system and your TV versus the display port you will see more on your laptop and your computer desktop and also on your computer displays. So now let's go into a little history of these two ports. So the HDMI port was first created in 2002. The display port was first created in 2006. And these two ports are digital port standards. So whatever signal you're getting from your equipment to the display is strictly digital. The main purpose of these port is to transmit video signal. Although the HDMI port can also transmit audio. So the HDMI port came along to get rid of the other ports that we were using before the HDMI port. So the S video cable, the regular video and audio cables, and even the component cables. HDMI cable came along to clean up that mess of cables that we were used to. So the HDMI cable was that one cable you would need to transmit audio and video at the same time. Now the display port for the computers was created to get rid of the DVI cable and the VGA cable that we were using before the display port came along. Now let's look at the different specs of these two different ports. Now there are different versions of these ports, but we're gonna stick to the latest port that's available. So the latest on the display port is display 2.0, which has a benefit of 25.92 gigabits per second, all the way up to 77.37 gigabits per second. So that means the display port 2.0 can transmit 4K at 240 Hz and 8K at 85 Hz. Now, as far as the HDMI 2.1, which is the latest version, it can transmit 4K and 8K at 120 Hz. So you can see the difference between those two cables. Display port can put out more at 4K, but less at 8K, while the HDMI 2.1 can only max out at 120 Hz doesn't matter if you're using 4K or 8K. Now there's no real difference as far as image quality when it comes to the HDMI port and the display port. But the HDMI port has an advantage when it comes to audio, which is ARC, the audio return channel, which most users will be favored to use anyway. And that's why you see more of the HDMI port when it comes to your TV and your soundbar versus the display port and your game system and other devices that support the HDMI port. The HDMI port is mainly built for multimedia because of the audio and video capability of that port. Now the computer gamers are gonna go for the display port to take advantage of the higher Hertz that you can get from your computer monitor. Now the HDMI cable has a 19 pin connector while the display port comes with a 20 pin connector and the ports and the cable has different shape to them so you cannot mix them up and connect the wrong cable. Now the HDMI cable come in three types. There's type A, type C, and type D. And the display port comes in two different versions of the connector. There's a full size connector and there's a mini connector. Here's all the other versions of the HDMI port. And here's all the other versions of the display port. Now when it comes to making a choice between these two ports, that's where it's gonna show up more on your computer system. Because your TV and the soundbar are gonna come with an HDMI port. And as far as the TV and the soundbar is concerned, it's all gonna depend on which version you have. Now your computer display, you're gonna have different choices. I know my computer displays have both connectors. It has display port and it has HDMI port. Now, even though the HDMI port is on your computer display, the display port is the gold standard. So that's the cable that you wanna to use to connect to your computer desktop. If your computer graphic card has the port to support it, and if your computer system doesn't have the display port and has HDMI port, then you definitely want to use the HDMI port over the VGA or the DVI connector on your computer. Now let's cover the advantage of the display port over the HDMI port. I already said that the HDMI port has an advantage over the display port because the HDMI port support ARC, which is audio return channel. But the display port has what they call dual mode technology. That means that the display port can configure itself to output to an HDMI port without any major hardware. It automatically is gonna figure that out and then convert the signal from the display port signal to an HDMI signal. The HDMI port doesn't have that capability. 
In order for it to convert a signal from HDMI port to the display port, you would have to get a special device that can convert the signal from HDMI to display port signal. So it boils down to this. If you have a display port on your computer or laptop and you're trying to connect it to an external monitor that also have a display port, then that's the port you want to use. When it comes to your entertainment system, your soundbar, your TV, your gaming system, the only port you're going to deal with is the HDMI port. And when it comes to those equipment, you want to look for versions. So use the highest version that's available for those equipment. Okay, so I hope this information was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.